We are living in unprecedented times. No matter what industry you come from, we must all review, rethink, and reinvent ourselves. Are you an entrepreneur that is trying to adapt your business to the new norm? Well, you are listening to the 2020 Entrepreneur, a podcast that will motivate you and have you think outside of the box. My name is Hugo Almeida, and with over 30 years of being an entrepreneur, I am here to share and inspire you with my experiences and help invent a new you. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to T20E World. Hugo here. Today, I'm with a special guest, Johnny Rupert. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to see you again. Awesome. Today, we are going to be talking about five reasons to master your attitude at a young age. Why is this so important, Johnny? Attitude. Yeah, attitude, really, it, it all begins with that, Hugh. You know, it's one of the things that, you know, really becomes part of your core. Your attitude really can dictate how far you are going to go in this world. Oh, my God. Absolutely, Johnny. I have a quote. It's my own. I came up with this many years ago. You wake up in the day, you have a choice, right? We're all given a choice. One, you either allow the day to run us or you run that day. Mm -hmm. And you get that. Oh, absolutely. You know, I absolutely. mean, it, you know, everything throughout a day can take you in so many different directions. So it's so important to take it on with a positive attitude. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Now, think about this, John. Imagine us if someone coached us when we were young and instilled all of the key components to consistently maintain positivity in the attitude that we had. You know? Yeah. I, I wish we had that early on in the stage. I mean, because, listen, uh, we're both very positive individuals today, right? Yep. Yeah, but we had to figure a lot out on yeah, our life. Did. You know, if somebody would have coached us through at an early age, and that is what we're trying to get through to everybody today, the sooner you can grasp the fact that you win with a positive attitude early on in life, the better you're going to be and the better you're going to live a, just a more positive life. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had talked about this a little bit beforehand, and we've talked about this a number of times over the years. But, you know, when you're younger, right, let's say growing up or, look, even starting your own business of your own or beginning your own, yeah. you know, career, you should start to benefit from what people before you have gone through. This world doesn't say you have to make all of your own mistakes and go through all of your own hardships. That's right. That's something I didn't recognize when I was a kid. I thought, you know, education and experience had to come from you making your own mistakes. And it wasn't until I was in my mid-30s that I realized that that's <laughs> not so. No, it's not. Man, if I knew that, you know that saying, why reinvent a wheel? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If you see people making mistakes, you know? Well, the why? biggest thing is, to me, even though I always felt like my ears were open, yeah. right, and my eyes were open, they weren't, right? The expression goes, if you're too busy talking, you're not busy listening. That's right. Look, Hugh, we're talkers, man. My mouth goes a mile a minute, you know, <laughs> bop, 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 it'll just go and go. And look, history is out there right? Other people's mistakes are readily available. Yeah. Search podcasts, go to the library, find Absolutely. a movie, read a book. Yeah. People's mistakes are out there. And the reason why it's important that we look for those is it keeps us from those moments where we're like, this is too hard. Yeah, I'm not going to get this. Everybody else can figure this out. Why can't I? That's right. And Hugh, look, I'm positive. I'm a really positive guy. So are you. Like, look, I always had this underlying feeling that today is the day. <laughs> I don't know what it's the day for, yeah, exactly. right? But today is the day. I was not put on this earth yep. to sit in bed. I That's might right. want to, but that doesn't mean That's that right. I am, right? right? And that attitude of today is the day. Now, look, I don't run downstairs with my pants on fire every day going, yeah, let's do this. Look, some days <laughs> I'm tired, man. It's We're human. I'm we are tired. human at the end of the day. But I do feel inside that there is this today is the day. Yeah, Today's it. I know right. it. Again, identifying what triggers you to have a negative attitude is, is so critical. If you want to learn about what triggers negativity, again, keep in mind, right? 
that a negative attitude always, always equals negative results. Listen, we talk about sports a lot, right? Mm -hmm. What's the worst thing you could have out on a, on a field? A poor attitude. Exactly. Is you know, that going to equate to something good? Absolutely. Well, not. it could by accident. <laughs> oh, by accident. Right? Look, you might just be blind luck. Right place, right time, bam, it happens. But that didn't make it right. No. A positive attitude keeps your eyes open, your ears open, and allows you to kind of soak in what's going around you. I'll tell you one thing that I have learned over the years, having a negative attitude, it does nothing, nothing but fuel anger, bitterness, hatred, you know, pessimism. Jealousy, and sometimes yeah. it starts creating doubt, not only in yourself, but in others. This is why I'm focusing so much about talking about the positivity, keeping a positive attitude, but learning this early on. So if, if you're out there listening, and you're one of those that just has a negative attitude, well, hopefully today, we're going to identify what it is that you can start doing. Yeah. And one of them, Johnny, starts with just identifying what needs to change. And that's not easy. Yeah, you know, it, it isn't, Hugh. And the identification piece really is critical, right? Because I guarantee you that there are people listening to this podcast yep. who don't recognize that they have a bad attitude. It's true. It's true. Listen, we've all come across them, whether it was in sports, at work. I mean, geez, at work, how many people we come across with horrible attitudes? Yeah. Look, I, I want to kind of just butt in here real quick, too, because I, I was sitting in line at the CVS before, and you and I were talking, and I just kind of wrote something on the back of the, the bag that they <laughs> gave me. And I was looking at common attributes for what attitudes are, right? If you say somebody has a good attitude or quote unquote, a bad attitude. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because look, if I say you've got a bad attitude, I'm talking about the same things that you were just saying. Angry. These are what I wrote down. Angry, yeah. stubborn, doesn't listen, too confident or cocky, lazy, right? You know, those are all of the bad attitude items, right? And then you're like, oh, he's got a good attitude. Well, what does that mean? Well, he's happy and he's eager and he's willing. Well, okay, right? Can he get stuff done? Like, just because you're happy getting knocked down all the time doesn't make it right, Correct. right? And there are times where you are a positive person. You do generally have a good attitude, but today you're angry. Something happened. Now it's on you. The person, That's right. you, how are you going to let that affect you? That's right. right? Absolutely if you right. are a negative person, generally, you are going to let anger drive you deeper. Oh, yeah. Right? You're going to go from minus five to minus 10. If you're stubborn, if you give up easily, you are going to go down. It digs you in and it holds on to you. Not good. If you want a positive attitude, a good attitude, but today you're angry because the contract that you expected to come in or the test that you were expecting to get a good grade in didn't come in the way that you expected, being angry is going to really just drive you down. But if you are one of those people who have to look at it and say, look, I'm choosing to look at this positively right? That test did not come back the way that I expected. That contract did not come in the way that I want. I didn't get that job or get into that school, right? You are making a choice then of how you let that affect you. Your alarm doesn't go off in the morning and all of a sudden you have this, oh God, my day is so bad. I'm, I'm running. Look, your day is not bad. You're five minutes late, 10 minutes late. It might cause some disruption, but don't let that ruin it. Absolutely. It goes right back to that quote I said in the very beginning. You know, you have a choice. You let that day run us or we run that day. So the other thing, John, I wanted to talk about, right? It's how do we start creating positive attitudes? So say you're dealing with an individual that is constantly battling, battling with negativity. You know, one, obviously we just talked about it, identifying it. But secondly, I think it's an important one, is start surrounding yourself with positivity. It's extremely important. If you want to break Give that bad habit. Give me an example habit, of that. Well, I'll tell you what. It starts with people. And I'll tell you why. You surround yourself with negative people. It's just going to drag you down, man. It's mm -hmm. not a good outcome. Start changing that. Listen, if you're a negative individual and you're thinking in a negative way constantly, 
the only way to break that habit, and it's not going to be easy because it's going to be things that you feel, things the way you think, the way you behave. You know, these are tasks. The way you react. Totally. And these are tasks that are very hard to change. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of hard work. Yes, once you identify it, surround yourself with positive influences. Mm -hmm. That's a big start right there. And the other thing is, you know, there's individuals, Johnny, we talked about this, that just tend to attract trouble yeah. or situations. So it's important if you identify those type of situations and you feel yourself getting sucked in again, listen, get out, move forward, get away from it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What about uh, being grateful, huh? I think that plays an important part. You know, I hear a lot of people say stuff like, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> Why is it yep. that anytime something can go wrong, it does, it does go, go wrong. wrong? Look, I'd like to tell you that <laughs> it, it just doesn't work like that. Yeah, life is just not that way. Right? There is no such thing as luck. As much as people want to call it luck, it isn't. The very idea of luck determining where we're going to go discredits <laughs> all of the hard work that people put in right? That attitude that you have looking at a situation. Look, let's just say I'm a negative person. You're a positive person, right? Yep. Something happens. Take any event, flat tire, dead battery, no raise for the year. We're going to look at that as two totally different Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Same Absolutely. situation, different colored glasses. Completely. Right? Oh yeah. Now, and it happens to all of us. Oh, it happens to I mean, I, it could be my wife and I going to the supermarket, right? And uh, I leave the keys in the car. To me, you know how I am. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's like, call the kids, have them stop by with an extra kid. My, my wife might completely go nuts. I, I don't know. But her reaction, I could almost guarantee from being married to her for so many years, she's definitely going to deal with that one differently. She, look, 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 <laughs> and, this, and she's not a negative individual. Let, trust me. Let me tell you. So... <laughs> You had called me this afternoon and yep. like, hey, listen, can you come down today? I want to record this. And as soon as you did, I got a bit. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. I, I don't even care <laughs> what the topic Johnny, is. Johnny, time out, time out. For all of our listeners, understand what happened today. This is such an important topic, attitude. Because if you learn to have a positive attitude at a very young age, it's going to change. It is life changing. Trust me on that. We will get into that. I recorded something this morning, and it just didn't have the umph. It needed that Johnny Rupert touch. You know what I mean? So I called John. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm like, Johnny, you got to help me out. I know it's on a Sunday. I said, can you get to the studios tonight? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm there. He's like, dude, I'm there. This is the kind of guy he is, man. Yeah. Thank you again, John. Yeah, anytime here. <laughs> so you call me, right? And immediately my ears perk up. Yep. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come. That's right. What's that? I didn't even ask what the topic is. I don't even care what the topic is, man. You just put me in front of a microphone, Absolutely. man, and I'm going. You going. Right? But so listen to this. Yeah. I was also looking forward to having Mexican food tonight. My <laughs> wife and I order from this one restaurant. I love it. Okay. So I had to go to the Mexican restaurant to get the food. Yeah. And I had to get to the pharmacy today before 5 o'clock when it closed. <laughs> So it was like 4.15, Hugh. Yep. I'm not a last-minute guy. Yep. So I run upstairs real quick. I'm like, I got a shower, go to the pharmacy, pick up the food, go home, eat with the family, go meet Hugh. And I'm going. And I jump in the shower. And I'm in there, and I'm, I'm going through my head all of this stuff <laughs> that we're going to talk about. I jump out of the shower. I grab the towel, and I'm, I'm drying myself off. And I'm like, what the hell is that smell? <laughs> what the? So the towel I that I grabbed, okay. right? <laughs> the towel that I grabbed going into the shower... My dog must have taken a <laughs> shit on it, right? So now I'm running out of time. And I'm like, but I got to get to the pharmacy. And I got to do this. Now I have to shower again. <laughs> Look right there. Look at that right there. <laughs> I'm I, sorry. You're killing me right now. <laughs> I could have. But looked, you're absolutely right. I could have looked at it's that. It's all how you take it. And then yeah. you know what? Oh, so get this. It gets worse. So I showered again. I get in the car. I'm halfway. I, I thought you were going to say use the same towel again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm halfway down to the pharmacy, which is right next to the Mexican yeah. restaurant. Guess what I don't have? The prescription. No, my wallet. Oh. And I'm sitting there going, damn it. Now what am I going to do? <laughs> the dog crapped on my towel. I have to go get my prescription because it's going to close in like five minutes. So what do I do? Oh. I just went. I got there. Yep. 
I told the pharmacist, I, now look, I don't have to tell him about the dog, <laughs> right? But I'm like, look, here's the deal. This is what happened. And he just looks at me and goes, yeah. He goes, you're in here all the time. I'll give you a five-day supply. Come back tomorrow. Pick the rest of it up. There you go. Solution. I called my wife, right? I'm like, can you do me a favor? Call in the order and ask to pay with it on your credit card. Now, that story is embarrassing, but here's the important thing, man. Like, I didn't let that freak me out. That's right. I wasn't like, you know what? Screw today. Screw it. That's right. Today is done. Great example. No. Look, in some ways, <laughs> this is a little bit funny. But on the other hand, I can't let that. Like, I got a job to do. I told my family I'm going to pick up dinner. There you go. You were determined. <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting this story, but th thanks for sharing no, it, John. You're welcome, man. Makes me even more appreciative of you coming in today. <laughs> Listen, I know what I'm going to get you for your birthday. Brand new set of towels. <laughs> but no, it's true. I want to fast forward this a little bit because I really want to focus now on why am I so persistent on people mastering a positive attitude at a young age? Let's talk about five reasons, Johnny. First and foremost, you absolutely live a much better life. It's going to allow you to take challenges that they come up unexpectedly. Like a great example of what happened an hour and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just... They, they come up for everybody. Life is full of curveballs, and that's one thing I try to get through to everybody. Always be expecting the unexpected. Yeah. Even though that kind of sounds backwards, well, how can I expect... Yeah. How can I expect something that's unexpected? Yeah. Look, Look, it's not literal. Here's what I'm saying. You have a goal that you want to accomplish. You have to understand that it's not always a straight line. There will be obstacles when they come up. That's right. Don't let that frustration stop you. Yeah. Keep your brain moving. Find the solution. Absolutely, Johnny. Number two is it definitely builds your self-confidence, right? And having a good self-confidence, it enables you to take on risks whether it's business whether it's personal but you know what it's coming from intelligent risks yeah exactly yeah and that self-confidence you i want to be clear there might be people out here saying well okay i'm just gonna be self-confident it doesn't work like that no 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 what i mean by self-confident is the non-ego because we talked right. about we that talked in about an episode that, yeah. right but even well look i I'm not good at public speaking. I'm never going to have that. No one's asking you to do that. What you mean there by self-confidence is, I know who I am. That's right. I know what I can do, and I know what my strengths and weaknesses are. Well put. And I am going to play that game. Well said, Johnny. Well said. Number three, you definitely become a much more optimistic individual. Yeah. Yeah, we've all know the people, right, that say, oh, what a cloudy day. But you're thinking, well, the sun is just above the clouds. Or that glass is half full while everybody else is seeing a half empty glass. Yeah. Optimistic is very close to another word, which is opportunity. Absolutely. Right? The greatest style of salespeople and the greatest optimists, right, always can find that next opportunity because they're ready for it and they're looking for it. That is important. No doubt. Number four, John, you definitely become goal-oriented individual. Determination, and it enables you to take on new ventures a lot easier, you know? And it does bring a lot of structure. Positive attitude, you know, it enables you absolutely to be a little bit more focused, always have a vision, have goals that are set, and you go for it. Yeah. What about this number five? I have to say, you know, if you're going to live life with a positive attitude, you're going to take notice that things won't get to you as much. So your patience level, you know, that increases and you do become a much more compassionate individual. Yeah. You know, I think compassion, my personal opinion, yeah. me learning compassion and connection to people has been a skill that I've worked on more as an adult, like a life skill, sure. right? Yeah. I've always been compassionate and understanding towards people. Totally. But as an adult, I've done it in a what I feel is a much truer sense of it. And when you do that, that whole idea of understanding people and connecting to them and being able to put yourself in their shoes, it is an important skill, 
right? It, it, it's a human decency kind of thing, right? That doesn't mean Absolutely that true. you have to do everything for other people, but it, no. it means you do have to think outside of yourself. Absolutely and right, John. that goes along with the idea of what you mentioned before of being grateful. No doubt. So listen, again, John, and for those listening, this is why we're spending so much time on, on just talking about mastering this attitude at a young age. John, you said it yourself, the last bullet there, you know, the compassionate part of it, you learned it at a later age. Well, right? I, I had compassion. I always had compassion with things, but I think I've spent a good amount of time yeah. practicing and really developing that. So for our listeners, again, just I'm going to summarize those five bullets. It's so important you get this at an early age. Believe me. Again, number one, you're going to live a much better life. Two, you're going to build better self-confidence. Three, you're going to see yourself become a much more optimistic individual. Four, you become better at goal orientation, right? Determination. And our fifth point, truly your patience level and compassion levels to individuals and situations, they increase. This is just five quick bullets that we come up with, yeah. but there are so many more. So many. The point here is that attitude in life is extremely important. And the younger you start, the better of a life you're going to have. Believe me, in any path that you desire, education, your work, your personal, your marriage, sports, yes or no? Yeah. You know, this is what the fourth or fifth time we've done this, and you've always asked me for, like, a summary point. Yeah. Right? And today is the... <laughs> <laughs> Usually when we get to that point, I'm like, hmm, summary, yeah. summarize something. Uh, well, I don't share know. Share with us now, right? John. And this is the first time I'm sitting here going, I think I have a way to summarize this, right? Go for it. Look, a positive attitude, a positive outlook, mm -hmm. right? It won't give you everything in this world. It won't say, oh, I have a positive attitude. I'm going <laughs> yes, to get right. the job that yeah. I want. I'm going to buy the house I want and make the money I want. But I will tell you one thing for certain. What's that? A bad attitude will prevent you from even seeing it. No doubt on that, John. Great, great advice. And to all of our listeners, remember the equation that we talked about early on. A negative attitude is just going to always give you negative results. Johnny, anything else you want to add? Buy clean towels and keep your <laughs> dog away from your bedroom. <laughs> I love it. All right, Johnny, once again, man, I really appreciate you coming in here tonight to our studios. It was pretty awesome. Time, and it, I, I love these things. <laughs> dude, and this is exactly how it happened. A quick phone call on a Sunday afternoon. Next thing you know, Johnny bathed, <laughs> you shitty towels, <laughs> forgot his wallet, but he showed up. Yeah. So, John, thank you again You're for welcome. coming to our studios. And to all our listeners, this is Johnny Rupert and Hugo, and we are checking out.